Hello, this is Dr. Kwan. Is this Mrs. Smith? Yes, it is. Hi, Mrs. Smith. Could I check whether it's a good time to speak to you? Yes, it's, uh, it's wrong. Thank you. Can I confirm your date of birth, please? Yeah, so it's the 23rd of April, 1974. Thank you. How can I help? Uh, well, I was out walking my dog yesterday morning, and then I suddenly kind of had some chest pain. Um, I was, it, it was as I was walking uphill, um, and I had to stop for a few minutes because I couldn't go all the way. So this is a new chest pain that you've had. Um, are you having any pain at the moment? Uh, right now, not so much. Um, just because I'm not really doing anything. But uh, at the time when I was coming. So right now, not so much. Are you pain free at the moment? Because this will change um, how we're going to manage you. It's very important to know whether you're having any chest pain now. Okay. Could you tell me um, when you had this chest pain, um, whereabouts was it? Um, it was like a like constricting pain at the centre-ish of my chest. Um, and as I was having that, I was a little bit breathless. Whether that was to do with um, the hell or not, I'm not sure, but that's what I was experiencing. Did you have it at rest as well? Did the pain spread to your arm or neck? Um, no, not really. Did you have any clamminess or feeling sick? Uh, no, not, not really, no. And have you had any thoughts as to what this is? I hear what you're saying. Um, it's it's quite concerning, especially if you had um, a family history. So, um, in terms of the chest pain that you've had, when was the last time you had a chest pain, Mr. Smith? Oh, it was it was yesterday, yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Okay. Do you remember what time? Okay, and and you said when you uh, stop, it it actually got better. How long did the chest pain last, if you can remember? Um, possibly like five minutes or so. Five minutes. Okay. Did you have any faint at all? No, no. And have you had any um cough? You mentioned you were feeling a bit short of breath. Sort of At the end of yeah. Any feeling that your heart was racing? No, not so much. And um, at the moment, um, have you actually found that uh, you've had any chest pain at home when you're walking? Uh? So in terms of um, support at home, may I ask um, who's at home supporting you? Uh, I live with my wife uh, and, and she works in my engineer, so she's at home nowadays. And was there anything in particular you were hoping that we could do to help you today, Mr. Smith? Maybe 
maybe I would need something like that. Um, I also wanted to kind of make sure that what I was experiencing wasn't particularly serious or like, like, like I said, my father had a, had a heart attack. I was hoping that it wasn't a heart attack. I hear what you're saying. So um, how much do you know about the Jijin spray? And you mentioned about heart attack. Um, have you um, searched on, on Google about what heart attack is? Um, not a great deal. Um, just kind of the basics where it, uh, you know, parts of the heart will die and, and whatnot. Right. So um, we, we can definitely discuss about... Um, GTN spray and I will explain to you what I think is going on here. All right. So I can see on your record that you suffer with high blood pressure. And are you taking your um, amlodipine? Yeah. Is your blood pressure well controlled? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's all right in the normal kind of range And I can see on your record that you drink about one bottle of wine a week. Is it still the case? Okay, and, and you don't smoke from your record? No. Okay. So, um, from, from listening to your story, uh, I think it's a very good thing that you discuss with us today about this chest pain, because it seems to be related to your heart, and um, it will be helpful if we can examine you, have a listen to your chest, to your heart sound, and do an ECG, which is a trace of your heart, to check the signaling of your heart. And it will be something that we could do down in the practice. Do you think uh, somebody will be able to bring you down today? Yeah, I think uh, I think my wife could probably come right. with me. That's that's good. So um, I think for the time being, it's probably best if you avoid driving because um, if it ever happened when you're behind the wheel, it won't be safe. So um, what I would recommend that we do is that um, once we examine you, we check um, your ECG and we check your heart sound. We can we can actually discuss about oh, what we'll do next. It does not sound like you had a heart attack because um, a full blown heart attack will usually last more than fifteen minutes, and it usually. Um, does not actually get better when you stop. So what I think is going on here, you have what we call angina. Have you heard of that term before? Um, uh, I'm not, it sounds familiar, but I'm not 100%. So angina is a problem where the blood supply of the heart um, is limited. So it's when you're actually doing something strenuous, like walking uphill, your heart needs more blood. And because the blood supply is narrowed and um, you don't have enough oxygen because the blood supply is not going through the muscle of the heart, then you feel the chest pain. So when you rest, your um, need for oxygen reduces and the pain gets better. So there are things that we could help you with, such as aspirin, um, give you a tablet of aspirin um, I can see that you don't have any allergies yeah yeah I know I'm, uh, I'm alright otherwise and, I'm and, and we could try you on the GTN spray which is something that will give you relief when you're having this chest pain I That'd think that great. I think we also need to consider referring you to the hospital for further assessment because of the chest pain that you're describing and it's something that happened yesterday. So it's important that we get you to have more tests at the hospital. What are your thoughts about having to go to hospital? Um, I'm, I'm not like particularly keen, but if, you, if I have to, then yeah, that's fine. I think it's important that we get you seen at the hospital because then they can do some blood tests as well there. Mm -hmm. Would that be all right if we arrange that for you? If you have any further chest pain, I would recommend that you dial 999 because um, 
it could potentially be something fatal. Okay. I will I will see you um in the surgery, okay? One of the receptionists will ring you for an appointment. If you found this video useful, I've got two videos I want you to watch. The first one is on tiredness. We discuss how to assess and manage a patient presenting with tiredness. The other video is on assessing headache. This is a common presentation that we encounter in general practice. Click on the right if you want to watch the video on tiredness and click on the left if you want to watch the video on headache. As always, make sure that you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on notification bell. Take care everybody, bye bye.